It's Nikki. I came up with today's tutorial idea, so I have every right to take it over and record it myself. By the way, you're welcome for the great idea. Yeah, that's great and all, but you don't record the tutorials. Yes, I do. You barely know anything about After Effects. I know what an effect is. Exactly my point. You barely know After Effects. Well, my voice is more epic than yours. <clears throat> sure. I'm gonna go record my tutorial now. All right, now that Nikki's out of the way, let's get on with this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create this epic looping tunnel using shape layers and a couple different effects, ones that I know a lot about. Remember that you can download the project files in the description to follow along. We're going to start by creating an ellipse, so go up to the aptly named ellipse tool, set fill to none, stroke to solid color. I'm going to set the stroke width to about 6 or so, then hold shift and click and drag to create a perfect circle. Open the ellipse, select Add, Repeater, open the repeater, increase the amount of copies to an unreasonably high number, set the offset to negative 3, open the transform for the repeater, set the position to be 0, 0, and set the scale to 70%. Open the transform for ellipse 1, set the position to be 0, 0, open ellipse path, increase the size until our circles fill out the composition, then open stroke 1, and press the plus icon next to the dashes so that we get this nice dotted line. Now, to animate this shape layer, go back to the repeater, set a keyframe for offset at the start of the timeline, open transform repeater, then set a keyframe for position and rotation as well. Move forward to 4 seconds on the timeline, decrease the offset to about negative 18, increase the X and Y of the position a bit so that the tunnel curves to the right and down like this, then increase the rotation by about 60 or so. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, open the graph editor tool, highlight all of the curves, and bring them to the center like this to smooth out the animation. I'll click the stopwatch for offset, then type in loop out, parentheses, ping pong and quotations to make the animation loop back and forth, then highlight the expression, copy it, and paste it into the expression controls for position and rotation as well. Next, duplicate the shape layer, navigate to ellipse path, and decrease the size until you have two circles with a little gap between them like this. Highlight both shape layers, press U to show the keyframes, then use the pick web tool to parent each of the parameters of the first shape layer to the same one in the second shape layer like this. This makes it so that we can change whatever we want on this very first shape layer and then all of those changes are going to be applied to the second one as well. Now duplicate the second shape layer, open the ellipse path, set the size so that the line goes in between the first two lines like this, open the stroke, dashes, set the dash to 4, then increase the stroke width until the lines fill out the gap between the other lines. Lastly, duplicate this shape layer, open the ellipse path, set the size so that this line is in between our two main lines, open the stroke, add another dash, set the dash to 8, gap to around 110, and stroke width to 1. Now we have our tunnel fully set up and animated. Before we keep going, we all know that making motion graphics can sometimes be frustrating and time consuming. To help fix that problem, we've made thousands of templates to save you time and let you produce awesome work under one simple subscription price. You can check out templates from all of our packs, including our Motion Graphics Professionals pack, and simply click apply. Now you can easily modify the parameters of the template and you're finished. So if you want to get a head start in progressing your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Next, we're going to create some shape layers and integrate them into our animation. Start by selecting the ellipse tool, set fill to solid color and we'll make the color black, set stroke to solid color as well and we'll set the color to be white, then set the stroke width to 1. Remember that these are just the shapes that I'm using for the sake of this tutorial. You can change the shapes, positions, anything. Go crazy. Hold shift, then click and drag to create a small circle near the center of the composition. Hold down control and double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point. Then use the align window to center the circle in the middle of the composition. Now go into the previous shape layer, find the repeater we made, copy it, then highlight ellipse 1 on our new circle and paste the repeater in there. Then open ellipse path and increase the X position until the circle is on the right side of the tunnel like this. Duplicate the circle and this time go to ellipse path and decrease the X position to put it on the left. 
Now we're going to use the rectangle tool to create a small square shape layer. Center the anchor point, align the square to the center, and paste the repeater onto rectangle 1. Open the rectangle path, we'll decrease the size of the square to make it fit a little bit better, then this time we'll increase the Y value to move the squares to the top of our tunnel like this. Lastly, duplicate this shape layer, open the rectangle path, and increase the Y value for position to move it to the bottom of the tunnel. Now we have some shapes added to our composition and they've been automatically animated. The last thing we'll do is put a little bit of funk on our composition by throwing in a few post-processing effects. Start by highlighting all of the shape layers we've made so far. Right-click them, select Pre-Compose, we'll name it to Shapes, then click OK. Highlight that pre-comp, go up to Effect, Channel, Shift Channels, set Green and Blue to Full Off, duplicate the pre-comp, set Red to Full Off, Green to Green, duplicate the layer one more time, set Green to Full Off, and Blue to Blue. Highlight the top two pre-comps, set their mode to Screen, take their position and offset them just a tiny bit so that you can see this nice RGB effect. Next, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, make sure it's highlighted, then go to Effect, Distort, CC Lens, and Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise. For the CC Lens, set the size to around 130. For Noise, set the amount of noise to 25%, and uncheck Use Color Noise. Now you have this amazing twisting 3D tunnel composition in After Effects. Well, I hope you guys liked my idea. And by the way, if you guys like free stuff, we have some free After Effects and Premiere Pro templates linked down below. And thank you for watching the best tutorial you've ever seen in your whole life. Always be creating.